So you just got Simple Risk installed, or you just got access to your hosted trial, and you think you are ready to start getting a handle on your risk management? Well, there is no better place to start than with adding a risk to track. Today, we will go over the process of adding a risk and some key features of the submission page. In your Simple Risk instance, you have a menu choice labeled Risk Management. Click this, and you are brought to the Risk Submission page. While the only required information to submit a risk is the subject and title of the risk, you are going to want to be as detailed as possible so key information is not overlooked when accessing the risk at a later time. For example, it's possible you may be unable to find a risk you're tracking because you only know the asset it affects, don't remember the name, and you forgot to enter it. So as a best practice, always try and include as much information as possible when submitting risks. On this page, all of the values in the drop-down boxes can be changed by first going to the Configure menu at the top and the Add and Remove Values page on the left. The dialogs that can be typed in, with the exception of affected assets, are entered on a per-risk basis. The affected assets box retains each asset that has been entered and can be selected again by using the arrow keys after clicking on the dialog box. You may choose to upload supporting documentation by clicking Choose File at the bottom of the right column. The default maximum upload size is 5 megabytes. If at any point you need to change this default size, you may do so in the Configure menu at the top, followed by the File Upload Size menu on the left. If you need to start over at any time, you can use the Clear Form button located at the bottom right-hand side of the screen. Once you have entered all the information available, simply select the Submit Risk button located at the bottom right to save the risk into the system. This is how easy it is for you to add a risk into Simple Risk.